I thought I might document what happens here with Hurricane Ian that looks to be headed our way here in Sarasota. Uh, this is, let's see, Tuesday morning. I'm headed to get some sandbags from a place. Nick was just there and I'm gonna go get some more. We're not doing a ton of prepping as far as at our house besides that. We do have a generator, things like that, but we are planning to, I think, shelter in place with our church actually our church house so we're gonna be there I think as of now I haven't heard any organized details or anything but we decided to just kind of hunker down still hoping it'll kind of go away you know but we don't really know exactly what'll happen uh, my parents left town they had been planning to go on a trip this week so they kind of are postponing that for the time being they just decided to go up to uh, my sister's place in South Carolina. Their house here in Florida is in a, like a flood zone. So it's, it's probably most likely gonna flood at least somewhat. He did make some preparations. He put sandbags and some plywood and things around, got as much prepped as he could, but um, they're not like attached here. So they decided they're just gonna leave early. It is currently not raining. It's somewhat overcast, pretty calm. So I'm doing all this recording on my phone, but uh, I'm gonna wait in line for some sand. They are, I guess, running low here. This is not like that very well known to the public, so it's not a you know terribly big operation or anything. And they bag it for you and everything, so I think I'm just gonna hang around. Got my limit of 15 bags. That did not take an hour. I bought it, waited maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or something. So I'm glad I just stuck around. So I think I'm gonna go home at this point. We're currently headed over to our storage facility to sandbag the doors there. Uh, see if we can kind of add an extra layer of protection there. It is a cement building, so I think that part should be fine. We're pretty elevated here though. So here we are. <laughs> Trying to wade through here. And thankfully I have some air mattresses for staging. So I'm gonna see if I can find some and we'll take those. Dad wondered if we would take his big van, passenger 15 passenger van over to a house that's on higher ground. So Nick brought me over here and I think Nick might be running to help out some people with boarding stuff up. My mother-in-law's at home baking stuff, plus her heart. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. Got that thing backed in there. It's starting to rain a little bit. Nick's in a hurry. <laughs> Nick's mom has been busy. She made these pie, pumpkin pie. She made some yummy granola. Full container of it. And then let's see what's in the oven. Yummy, look at that. We will be eating well. She loves baking and stuff, so. I will gladly let her, and it's been such a huge help to have her around right now. Just, we can just leave if we need to, she's here. It's very helpful to have an extra set of hands, uh, even with just like starting our house, like the renovation and everything, so, yeah. Well, okay, so it's 4.38 on Tuesday evening. I am trying to find a drinks. Dorcas just asked me to bring an ice chest of drinks about 40 minutes ago. So I'm gonna see if I can find some. I'm hoping Publix is still open. The gas station was closed, but I'm gonna see if I can get drinks and ice and take that to the church, take some of our stuff over there and kind of stake a claim and if we do need to sleep there type of thing. So put our air mattress and stuff over there and then I'll come back home. It's just kind of lightly raining right now. So it looks like the worst We'll probably start maybe in the early morning at this point. That's what I, I think I know. I don't know that anyone officially knows, obviously, but that's the prediction. So I'm not really sure what we'll do tonight. We'll just kind of play it by ear, but then we'll, yeah, I'll come back home and we'll kind of pack up some clothes and stuff and probably go back over, but time will tell. Pull. Got some people out exercising. So I stopped at our house here, the new house, uh, but they're actually putting plywood on just the front 
I think bay window here and the side panels maybe and then the bathroom. It, the storm trajectory still looks like it'll be, you know, here, but it won't hit till tomorrow most likely. So I'll start. Or you want to start? Or you want to start? I'm gonna just need to sit on here is all. And of course, the highest risk will be in that southwest Florida region from Naples uh, up to Sarasota. There's also potential for flash flooding. So we're headed over, it's almost eight o'clock in the morning. It's definitely a lot windier. I am more nervous than he is, let's just put it that yes, way. Yes, she is. So some people slept here in the sanctuary. Last night, I'm sure there's going to be more people here tonight. And then this is kind of a hangout place for the kids. And here's our little room. We brought air mattresses over yesterday. lost power it's around one o'clock in the afternoon seems to be maybe increasing a little bit the wind I can almost see protected here. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of people out here earlier, but it did just get a little windier. I think it made landfall around some over an hour ago, about, I don't know, an hour, a little more south of us. And I think it's going to be going past Sarasota here, maybe half an hour away or something. It's kind of making, you know, it's trek upwards. But um, yeah, time will tell. Everyone's in good spirits, though. We feel pretty safe here. Uh, there's a lot of people to keep us distracted and everything, things to do, and yeah, the, the power did go out at around 1 o'clock and it's now close to 2.30, so, yeah. supper. I think they're gonna have sandwiches, some dip. We're not lacking in food.
around 11.30 p.m. We're at mom and dad's house. They have electric. We're all safe and sound. I'm gonna fill you in tomorrow. It's been a long day, but praise the Lord, we're all safe. And the worst is behind us, I believe. There, it's been gone for maybe, I don't know, a couple hours that the worst has passed. It's still windy, kind of gusty, and some things like that, but we came over here, and yeah, I'll fill you in tomorrow. What do you think, Oakland? Uh. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Huh? What happened? What are we gonna do? Oh no. Mama. Yeah. Nick's talking to dad right now. Okay, so where to start? Uh, yesterday, I mean, I tried to update you guys as much as I could, but I mean, the worst of it came, I think around, I would say between four and seven, maybe. So obviously we weren't right in the direct hit, but it kind of, it was a, such a slow moving storm that it just, beat down for a long time. The people out east, some of our friends out east, they said they don't know how their house is still standing and flooding and things like that. So they got hit pretty hard because it's more out in the country. With them being in a flood zone here, we fully expected their house to be underwater, like at least flooded, not like underwater, but you know, they're in low lying areas here close to Pinecraft. And we were expecting the worst for, for here and they were as well. They're out of town obviously, but we came here last night and the power was still on. Nick and them came like they were we were all at church until a certain point the the worst kind of passed finally and then some of the men went out to kind of you know check some things out like the one Detweiler's store on Palmer some of that roof came off. Uh so there was, you know, rain obviously going inside and things like that and yet they had power. Some of the weirdest like things like that. But we ended up deciding to come home. Uh, it was still a little windy coming home, but all in all with the, I think we had probably around 100 mile per hour sustained winds at the worst, which is pretty incredible and it's so hard to get on camera, but like being at the church, you barely felt anything. And even in the alcoves where the doors were, like we could kind of have them open and it was sort of protected. It was kind of like inside. So we, <laughs> with all the people and stuff, it can get a little like dank and stuff inside, you know, with no air. Cause our electric went off around one, the power there. So we didn't use generators or anything right away. It wasn't actually set up properly there, but. So Nick checked on our house that we're renting currently. That one was without power, but everything looked fine. It wasn't wet or whatever. We're kind of sitting up a little bit there. And they checked out a couple other places too. So we ended up coming home late last night, as you saw, and slept here now. They have power here, the Wi-Fi's down. Yeah, anyway, we're just grateful that everything is okay, that people are okay. We haven't obviously heard of, you know, any casualties, and I'm hoping that's the case here. Yeah, I wanna go drive around a little bit and see more of the damage and stuff. Uh, obviously down south, I, I know there's just a ton more damage because it was an almost a category five. Obviously, if you were following the news, you could tell but he made landfall as a cat four. And I know that they got pelted, so I haven't actually seen, you know, a lot of footage yet of how bad stuff is, although it was, we saw some of it. I'm trying to see if we can clean up mom and dad's front yard a little bit this morning. Harper's taking a nap, her first nap, so I'm gonna see if I can at least pick up a little bit, and then we will probably go drive around a little bit or I'll go back home for some food. We did hook up our generator or mom and dad's generator last night to our fridge and freezer that could run for a while. It probably shut off at some point then, but at least keep that stuff okay. So.
Good job. No one knows through the storm. So we're just trying to get some stuff cleaned up out here, just kind of the bigger items. Um, like their patio furniture and everything stayed here. I mean, the cushions were, you know, a little off of the chairs and stuff, but like, it's just incredible that the stuff didn't like just all blow away, but I guess they're somewhat protected in this area here or something. Apparently, they probably didn't have quite as high winds as we did out there. The one who catches every cleaned up kind of the bulk of the bigger stuff. Not really the backyard, but looks better at least. So Nick has a bunch of houses that he needs to go check on as far as just to see, you know, if they're okay, maybe people from out of state. And then he gave me a couple that I'm supposed to go look at too. So we're gonna go drive around and see how those places are looking. Just kind of see what we can see. Pinecraft has fared pretty well. This is actually a little bit more than some. They still have power. Okay. rental looks pretty good here I don't know if there's power yet though all is well in here well looking out the back you wouldn't know there was a storm just get power back we have the fridges connected we're still trying to figure out if we're gonna sleep here or not because as soon as the sun comes out it's gonna get a lot hotter in here like there's a few streets around us that have power i think and had power throughout the whole thing but our street here didn't so yeah not sure we may sleep at mom and dad's or kind of hang out there for a little bit yet so this is pretty bad. Detweiler's Palmer location. Some of the roof came off. And this stuff collapsed back here. Oh, it has been quite a morning already. Friday, almost lunchtime, 11, a little past 11.30, and I've kind of felt like I've been losing track of the days. They seem kind of long, but. Anyway, I thought I'd give a little recap and kind of close out the video. Yesterday, I'm trying to think. We did clean up. We went over to uh, our house, the new house, and to kind of check things out there, cleaned up. The guys did that, and then I ran over to church to pick something up for Caden that we had left there by accident and I ended up staying and helping out uh, with some dinner stuff that we were feeding to those who didn't have electric and stuff like that. I also ended up going with two others, Dorcas and Rose, to go to one of the Detweiler stores to salvage some food. 
Oh, so they have five locations, Detweiler's Farm Market, and they go to our church. They have, I think, I'm thinking at least two of the locations are damaged. Most of them did not have generator backups that were working. We are trying to make one meal a day for the next three days to serve some, you know, at least church people, some neighbors, friends, whoever, uh, at the church. So we were trying to get food from those stores that they're gonna have to throw out, you know, if it doesn't get used ASAP. And we're trying to make some meals based around that. At least no one is hurt in the process. No, there was no casualties, all of that. So there's a lot to be thankful for. Uh, Detweilers are very giving, servant-hearted people. They would give their shirt off their back to anyone in need. So they're very much involved in the community here. They're doing all they can to help people and things like that. So they're trying to get their stores back up and running, obviously, because people need food and it's starting to go a couple days. We don't know how long it'll go without power. But anyway, so yeah, I am I was kind of involved doing that the rest of the day then. And I'm helping this afternoon cook a meal for tonight uh, and cleaning up and stuff like that. And then in the process, so we were, <laughs> it's been quite something. So some of our friends from Nebraska moved down here like uh, almost two weeks ago, barely that. And they live a little south of us in Northport. And they went back home last night. They had no power or water. And they went back home last night, slept there. And then this morning I realized that they were kind of getting trapped they weren't trapped yet in their house, but the water is coming up their street. There was a lot of intersections that were blocked due to water, and somehow water is coming up. It's like rising, and so they were quickly trying to evacuate there and get out of their house and be able to come up here, and thankfully they made it made it up here. So we were trying to figure out if we can find a place for them to stay. There are a lot of houses in the area that are empty due to you know, vacation type houses, rentals, things like that. So we were trying to figure out, you know, if we can find a place for them. Uh, they did find a place that they can stay at. We still don't have power. They are currently, Nick went and bought a big generator this morning. Lowe's got a big shipment in. I guess they're open. I guess stores are opening today now, some. Gas stations are opening, things like that. Um, so he went and bought a bigger generator. It's not enough to completely do the whole house but it's going to be enough to help us be able to live here at least kind of packed up all our stuff this morning and came over here because mom and dad are coming home today and it's just it feels i don't know more at home if we can just be here we still have water currently but i think we're supposed to boil it uh the men also organized groups to go do cleanup help each other out on properties help other people out that way you don't have to like try and do everything yourself if there's there's trees down and things like that. So there's there's a lot of devastation. There's one house particularly from our uh, church friends that got hit really hard. Um, they're homeless basically. Uh, they had an apartment they were living in while they're renovating their house and both of those got hit. But anyway, that place especially got hit pretty hard. Um, out East definitely got the worst dam damage. Uh, yeah, so, and we can hopefully bless others and help each other and things like that. It's just good to see community come together and yeah, all of that. So there's a lot to be thankful for. I just, I have to check, see what Ian is doing currently. I know he was probably gonna hit Carolina this morning, which is, I'm just like, no, stop, you know, just don't keep doing more damage, but um, they're, they're checking some stuff. What are you looking at? Oh. We currently have the windows, some windows open and stuff because it's so nice outside, thankfully. But anyway, we're doing okay. Uh, we're just trying to get our feet under us. Um, I, the next video maybe will be the demo video. I had planned to put that one up first, but I figured this one is more important to put up. And then I'll put the demo video of our house and stuff. We'll see. Maybe I'll even do more before that. Not really sure. We're not sure what's going to happen with that. Our house there is okay. Um, obviously, yeah. So much to be thankful for. But I hope you all are safe and well. Thank you so much for your love and concern for us. It just means the world to us. So I'm going to close out here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.